The Dallas County Grand Jury met this morning at 8.30, heard evidence on against Jack Rubenstein, alias Jack Ruby, for the murder of Lee Oswald. He was indicted. The indictment's returned to Judge Joe B. Brown's court. It's been set down for a hearing on December the 9th. This is a most aggravated killing and assassination, the case in which we will ask the death penalty and think that's the only proper punishment. In, in, in my opinion, uh, based on the evidence as I know it now, Jack Ruby should go free based on his mental condition as it was at the time I talked to him shortly after the shooting. Does this indicate that you will enter a plea of temporary insanity? Well, I, I don't want to say yes or no, but uh, uh, certainly uh, that's a under consideration. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I'm William A. McKenzie, and I represent Mrs. Marina Oswald and her brother-in-law, Robert Oswald. Mrs. Oswald uh, has testified today from 9.30 up until 3.45 before the commission today, and I hope that she's been finally discharged. She's here to give her testimony to the commission to assist it in any way that it, she can possibly do so to make its report to the President and the American people. We deem it uh, inappropriate at this time for Mrs. Oswald to comment on her testimony before the Commission and before the Commission gives its final report. And likewise, uh, we have a lawsuit pending in Dallas, Texas over the return of some funds which Ms. Oswald has had donated to her by the American people. And we likewise deem it inappropriate to comment on that lawsuit until such time as it's finally concluded. Can you tell us, sir, sir, were the Commission's questions mostly the same ones asked before? Well, sir, I can't answer that because I wasn't here before with Mrs. Oswald. Mrs. Oswald, Mrs. Oswald, Mrs. Oswald comment on that particular question? Mrs. Co uh, no, she will not comment at this time, John, on that particular question. Mr. McKenzie, may we ask a few questions of Mrs. Oswald that are not particularly uh, related to specific testimony? Well, as we walked out at noontime, you asked about the color of her hair, and I'll, I'll comment on that. Her hair is the same color as it was the last time she was up here. It has been bleached some by the Texas sun. However, all of you should thank me for bringing this good Texas weather up here. We haven't had any 100-degree weather in Texas this year. Mrs. Oswald, uh, are you in the process of becoming an American citizen? Would you step up just a bit? Her answer was that she would like to become an American citizen. Of course, you know it takes five years. Uh, three years more. Three years more. She's been here two years. But at the appropriate time, she will file for her citizenship, Ms. Oddenberg, and uh, she has not done so as of yet. She is studying... Yes, she is studying English now, and she is studying for her American citizenship and hopes in time that it will be granted to her. Mr. Mar Oswald, would you tell us in your old, own words about uh, your progress in studying English? How are you doing this? You well, uh, I can uh, feel myself my progress. How are you learning English? Through an interpreter with an English teacher. Marina, are you as happy as can be expected? Under the circumstances, yes. She wishes to help the commission, she says, and she has sought to do so in every possible way. Do you feel that you've recovered somewhat from the shock of last November? Do you feel that you have recovered from the shock of the events of last November? I will say this, sir. She is uh, attempting to adjust uh, uh, to an American-type life as Fastly, as fast as she possibly can, uh, taking into consideration the tragic events of last November. Did she talk to an interpreter today? Did yes, she did. Yes, ma'am. She's been talking about breaking up on the farm that she's been doing. Mike, she has not had an opportunity to brush up on a pharmacy other than paragoric for her little uh, 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 child, Rachel, uh, who... She still has two children in diapers, as you know, and uh, 
<laughs> June is June has now been trained, but uh, Rachel is still in touch. Have you any intention, Mrs. Oswald, of ever returning to Russia to your homeland? I'll let her answer that question. Want he wants back? to know if you want to go back to Russia. No. Will you stay in Texas? Mm -hmm. Do you ever see your mother-in-law, Mrs. Lee Harvey Oswald? No, sir. Yeah. She does not. Mm -hmm. I mean, whose choice is that? Uh, we won't, make, we won't make any comment on that. We, we think that uh, the facts speak for themselves in that regard. Who's suing on the money? Well, I brought suit for Mrs. Oswald uh, to recover the funds that were donated by uh, churches, civic organizations, and individuals throughout the country. Recover them from who? From Mr. Thorne and Mr. Martin her former attorney and her former business manager. Yes. What about the status of those funds now? Has Mrs. Oswald access to them? We do not have access to them at this time. Rather, Mrs. Oswald does not have access to them at this time. However, I will say this, that Mr. Thorne has been most cooperative through his counsel in seeking to work the matter out, and I hope soon that it will be concluded. How much money is it? We don't know exactly. Well, I have no way of making an estimate because I've never seen the funds, nor have I ever had it. I just wouldn't wouldn't way, have any way of making an estimate. Now. The uh, Fort Worth Council of Churches received some funds, approximately seven thousand dollars, which uh, uh, Reverend Saunders of the Fort Worth, executive director of the Fort Worth Council of Churches, turned over to Mrs. Oswald through me, and she is living on those funds and. There, has, there have been reports in the press that she has purchased the house. Uh, that's not so. She has a small two-bedroom cottage uh, in a very fine, nice suburban suburb of Dallas. Yes. Lease. It is rented by the month. Yes. Mrs. Oswald. It's in Richardson, yes. Mrs. Oswald. But she does like it because it's the first house she's ever had in her life. She's now completed her testimony for the Morris Police. Murphy, is, so far as we know, she has been finally uh, dismissed by the commission, but of course she holds herself in readiness to return at any time at the commission's request. Mr. McKenzie, Mrs. Oswald has been quoted in the press as having made a statement uh, to the effect that she feels that on the basis of the evidence she's been gathered by the Warren Commission, that she feels perhaps uh, that Mr. Oswald, Lee Harvey Oswald, did in fact commit the crime. Would you comment on that or would Mrs. Oswald's statement? Has she changed her mind in this regard? Mrs. Oswald has not changed her mind in this regard. Uh, she's of the opinion that Lee Harvey Oswald was the assassin of President John F. Kennedy. He was a, an avowed Marxist, a communist, a member of the, well, a Marxist, a member of the of the militant liberal left, I would say. He was not a communist? No. Mrs. Oswald, do you get uh, many letters from your friends in Russia? I had just one letter from my girlfriend. Mrs. Oswald, can you tell us, how do you spend your day? What do you do? Do you go out or do you stay home or what? You know, the two kids, you can go out. Do you go out at all? She goes out with some friends in Dallas that have been very nice to her. Her neighbors have been extremely cordial and nice to her. She has very nice neighbors. Uh, she spends most of the time with her two children, taking care of them and being with them right there in Richardson. She's not a recluse. She's not a recluse. Uh, she's been to the symphony orchestra when the symphony was in Dallas and She's been to some plays and things of that nature. What about the opposite side of the coin, uh, Mrs. Oswald? Do you receive threats or have you received threats from people or unpleasant notes? She has had a few crank letters, but mostly the letters that she's had, and honestly, ladies and gentlemen, it would make your heart proud of this great country of ours. They have been full of Christian love, charity, and understanding. There was a small church in New Jersey that the children of the church, for example, baked some cakes and sold those cakes and sent the money from the sale of those cakes 
to Mrs. Oswald for her and for her children's benefit. And Mrs. Oswald, do you see your brother-in-law letter? Yeah. Very, Very often. often? Very yes, often. quite often. Are they considered them close? Yes, I would consider them close. I love him. Um, Ms. Oswald said that she loves her brother-in-law, uh, Robert Oswald. In fact, uh, Robert Oswald's wife, uh, Mrs. Veda Oswald, a very fine little red-headed Texas girl, is uh, up here with Mrs. Oswald at this, on this occasion. How do you feel, Mrs. Oswald, about these unpleasant crank letters that you've gotten from time to time? Well, I think all country has, you know, all kind, uh, all kind, you know, people good and bad, you know. You can have just wonderful people. You know. It's tough. Mrs. McKenzie, could we ask you to characterize uh, the work okay, of the Warren okay. Commission thus far? In what way would you want me to characterize it? Is it your feeling that uh, there's been a lot of talk about what took place on November of last year? Is it your feeling the Warren Commission will have the ultimate answer on the basis of the testimony taken from Mrs. Oswald? <laughs> Well, on the basis of my experience here on two occasions, I would say that the Warren Commission is doing an outstanding job to make a full, comprehensive, detailed report to the President as it is commissioned to do, and I hope that that report ultimately will go to the American people. I'll say this, that uh, they have uh, been to Dallas on several occasions. Uh, They've conducted exhaustive interrogations. The staff, uh, in my regard, is an outstanding staff, and certainly the members of the commission itself are outstanding Americans. I have great admiration for Mr. John Foster Dulles, I'm, pardon me, Mr. Allen Dulles, the brother of John Foster Dulles, received a fair trial in Dallas, Texas. I do say this, I, I think that the taking of Lee Harvey Oswald's life was a tragic event insofar as the American people are concerned because it cast a great deal of, of doubt and suspicion into their mind and allowed the uh, speculation to enter into the investigation that would ultimately have resulted. This is Oswald. May I ask, May I ask Mrs. Oswald this question? Mrs. Oswald, how do you feel personally about Jack Ruby? She has already expressed herself. Uh, I think it was carried uh, on the Associated Press or on one of the national news medias. Uh, uh, Could we ask her for? I, w I would yeah. prefer. I would prefer that she not comment on that. This she has. Goes through your line from with, time to time. Know, John, would you pardon me just a second? Uh, I'll try to be just as cooperative with y'all, and I hope that you'll allow me the same courtesy, and I know that you will. Uh, she has expressed herself on capital punishment, and she expressed herself as being against capital punishment prior to the jury returning its verdict of guilty. And she said at that time that she did not want to take any man's life or any person's life. Well, did you experience uh, the difference in your understanding from the communist oh, No, we, that's, uh, that's a philosophical... Uh, it's not clear because he has been identified all the time as a communist, and so uh, the very fact that she's saying he's not a communist, we'd like to just get it straightened out as to what she means. Not no, we, 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 won't, we won't have any comment okay. on that. We'll let the commission yeah, decide say, that. And uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, right? Sir, would you comment on reports that uh, Marina locked Oswald up? after he made various threats against public officials? No, sir, I cannot comment on that because uh, there has been testimony given to the commission on some of the things that you're asking me about, and I would prefer not to comment on any testimony given to the commission. Well, Mr. McKenzie, the wire services at this moment are carrying the story that uh, Mrs. Oswald did indeed discuss the so-called Nixon story. I wonder if we could have some explanation of that. Then I would suggest that you take that up with the Chief Justice of the United States, Mr. Warren, who chaired the commission's hearing today. And if the wire services are, have already on, have on their wires uh, reports uh, of her testimony, then it did not come from Mrs. Oswald. 
and it did not come from me, and if it came from anywhere, it came from within the commission or its staff. You are saying then that the story is not true? <clears throat> I'm not saying one way or the other, sir. I'm just saying that Mrs. Oswald is not going to comment on any testimony that she's given to the commission until such time as the commission in its uh, preparation of its report is ready to report to the president. And I don't think that it's proper for me or Ms. Oswald or anyone else, commission staff or members of the commission, to comment on anyone's testimony unless it is an open <coughs> commission hearing with every member of the press being available that will be here to serve their own particular papers or it's news media. Personal, personal, personal opinion, not what she told the commission. I think she said this before anyhow. But does she still, do you still believe that Oswald acted alone, that he was alone in this? Yes, there was no plot. I don't really know. She doesn't know. Uh, she doesn't know. She has her own thoughts on it. I don't really know. She says that she does not know whether he acted alone or not. She has her own, her own opinion on it. I have my own opinion on it. And I'm sure, I'm sure that some of you Ladies and gentlemen, have your own opinion. But her own opinion is, from what she knows, that he acted alone. She doesn't know, she said. She said she had given her own thoughts. Because I don't want the claim, you know. I just... She was not with her husband at the time, had not been with him for some time, and uh, didn't know his, uh, what he was planning or on the what with you him. Know, on what you know, you believe he acted alone, is your thought? I know, but she didn't know. Yes, same thing. No. She doesn't know. Well, I want to say thank you for coming to me. It was very nice people to me. The commission acted uh, very graciously to you. She, she you. says yeah. this, sir, that she wants to thank the commission for the opportunity to appear before it. They have all been extremely courteous to her and have shown her uh, every courtesy and in their interrogation. And likewise, I express my thanks to the commission for its courtesy in allowing Mrs. Oswald to appear and to give testimony. She is here to, to assist the commission in arriving at the truth, if the truth can be found. Does anyone else have any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you all very much. Thank you, Mrs. Oswald. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.